What's up, gang? What's up, squad? It's your boy, Are You Theorist, the realest, the coolest, the trillest young king. Only two platforms as we speak. Welcome back to another lit banger game, man. We got some crazy on tap today, man. We got Javante Davis all time knockouts, all right, man. So, if y'all know Javante Davis, y'all know that he is like the young Mike Tyson, just a little bit smaller, you know what I'm saying? And um, he really be knocking out shit, you feel me? Um, he fought Ryan Garcia last. And and pretty much knocked him out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he Yeah, it was a knockout. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and react to this, man. If you're new, subscribe, like the video. If you like videos like this, you know what to do. And comment section below and let me know. And uh, I don't know why this played. We're back in third Hold quarter on. planning. Adams is quarterbacking this project and Okay, it's good. for some reason it has started without me. But we're gonna go ahead and Power. Right. we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. Let's get it. Power. Ooh. Ooh. Speed. Hmm. Precision. I'm not gonna lie. For a little dude, and it's you know that's why they say size don't matter. For a little dude, he be knocking muffs out like he's, you know. What's that dude named Tommy Fury or some shot somebody like you know what I'm saying like. Um, like, you know, he one of the big dogs. You feel me? But he a little dog, but he fight like a big dog. That's crazy. Oh he is crazy. Precision. Ooh. And extraordinary <laughs> talent. These are Gervonta Davis's attributes. Mm. Davis, also known as Tank, is one of the rising stars in boxing with a perfect record of 29 wins. 27 of which are by knockouts. Wow. He is a former three division world champion Crazy. and has been mentored by none other than Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd. With his exciting journey, let's hmm. look back and watch all of his jaw dropping knockout finishes. Javante Davis at 22 becomes the youngest champion in boxing. Wow. He was a box a champion. Due to the absence of footage from Javante Davis's early career, we will skip his first 11 fights and 10 knockout wins. Instead, mm. we will proceed to his 12th 11. fight and showcase. The boy had 11 fights, 10 knockouts. It's his 11th knockout victory. Earlier this afternoon, Mayweather Promotions rising star Gervonta Davis took on Recky Dule in a six round lightweight bout. Uh, Floyd Mayweather told us was his brightest prospect, the guy by the name of Gervonta Davis. In his 12th fight, Davis faced Recky Dule in a bout scheduled for six rounds, but with his lethal power, Davis only needed one round. Davis hit Dulé with a light speed left, sending him down twice and finishing the fight in the opening round. Bro, that was so quick, I missed it. Hold on. Dulé with a light speed left, sending him down twice and finishing the fight in the opening round. And Dulé has just not been able to get on track. Another left down. Good. That's it. We're it's done. over. He did not answer to Russell Moore's question. Are you good? A referee in charge, Russell Mora, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Gervonta Davis. What the hell was that? Floyd Mayweather's nickname, Gervonta Tank. He told us he's the only fighter he's given all of his secrets to. That's high praise. Wow. After dismantling Dulé, Davis's next opponent was the veteran Mexican fighter Cristobal Cruz. Davis shocked the veteran with his bazooka-powered fist, sending him to the canvas in the opening round. Ooh. Ooh. Bro, look how his nigga was like. He was like, no mo, no mo. Bro, watch how he fell. Powered fist, sending him to the canvas in the opening round. The young Gervonta Davis schooled Cruz, making him look like an amateur. Bro, the fact he was like, stop, stop, please. Bro, that's how you know that shit hurt. Because this dude's a veteran. He's been boxing for a minute. Like Tank. Oh, 
The referee decided to stop the fight in the third round, making Davis the winner. Davis, with his winning streak, fought and destroyed Mexican fighters before competing for his first world title. Among them was Luis Sanchez. Fighting out of Cancun, Mexico, introducing Luis Sanchez. Protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck, Brenda Suarte. Touch him up. God bless. Davis fed his adversary with atomic combinations in the eighth round, dealing damage in every corner. Davis didn't want to see body shot. I got some more. I want a sensational knockout. I want to see that fight. Oh, nice uppercut. Davis landed precise uppercuts to Sanchez's chin for the first knockdown of the fight. Bro, the way he set that up was perfect. Ended precise uppercuts to Sanchez's look, look, he, chin for the he, first he, knockdown he, of the fight. Oh, and the second one drops Sanchez first over his opponent. Never stood a chance, bro. Never stood but a despite chance. all the damage, Luis miraculously survived the eighth round. Really? But in the next round, he did this. Oh, it's wide. Lightning quick. Sanchez flat on his face, and that's it. Katie Bayless has seen enough. No undefeated Gervonta! Look at homie's face! Davis. Look at homie's face! The next oh victim of Gervonta God. Davis is Guillermo Avila for a fight scheduled for 10 rounds. Presenting Guillermo Avila! Avila. Introducing Gervonta! Gervonta Davis! Tank Davis playfully taught Avila punishing boxing lessons with his brick-like punches. Davis believing he can as well you should. And in the fifth round, he taught Avila some dancing lessons. After that, he unleashed. He's a hoe, bro. He's a hoe for that. I gotta replay that. I said I wasn't gonna stop it no more. I gotta replay that. Now he do the. Ugh, he do the little shimmy shake, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know the shook shimmy shake? Yeah, he did the shimmy shake. In the fifth round, he taught watch Avila it, some it, dancing it. lessons. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, look, look, look. After that, he unleashed a thousand punches, prompting the referee to stop the fight. Bro, he is beating this sugar up. Oh my God. That looked like a side fight. The referee, Michelle Myers, waves off the contest. The undefeated Trevante. Bro, that's bullying at this point. Come on. Two months later, Davis fought his last opponent before entering the World Championship, and his opponent was Mario Macias. <laughs> that boy look crazy! But bet he get his ass knocked out, though. But the young protege only needed a few seconds to finish the fight. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I just like, bro, this, this dude, he look wild, but I bet he ain't on shit. The Baltimore Ravens. This is his 16th professional fight. Ooh. He now has 15 Ooh. knockouts. <laughs> the kid's a tank. There's many nicknames. The tank, oh. the one. And in 2017, Gervonta hey, entered the world the stage game, and man. challenged Jose Pedraza for the IBF no. World Super Featherweight title. He looked like he gonna put up a fight. I could be the wrong. tank delivered another masterful performance and destroyed Pedraza for his first world title. Now, as the current Rockies. champion, Davis has his first challenger, Liam Walsh, also an undefeated Jackson? fighter. And again, as always, Davis dominated his adversary with his destructive punches. Yeah. Walsh managed to get up, but Davis decided to finish him right after he got up. Bro, you done. Stop. Stop. There was only gonna be one winner. Junior lightweight champion of the world, the tank, Gervonta Davis. Three months after becoming champion, Davis faced another challenger, an undefeated Nicaraguan fighter, Francisco Fonseca. But the champion hit him with atomic body shots, finishing the fight in the eighth round. <laughs> Davis even mocked his opponent after he was down on the canvas. 
Whoa, in 2018, Gervonta Davis decided to challenge Jesus Kueller for his WBA super that featherweight wild. belt. Hey, so no, he called this man Jesus. Play play Jesus. Job. In the second round, Davis targeted the body and deposited some shots. Jesus managed to survive the second round. The tank was eager to finish in the third round and deposited more body shots, ultimately finishing Puella. One year later, the tank continued his domination. And Bro, the fact that he's fighting these these boxes back to back is crazy. Most big fighters they wait years to fight. He's literally fighting back to back. For his 21st fight, he faced Hugo Ruiz to defend his WBA title. But Davis only needed one round to destroy Ruiz, hitting him with devastating headshots. Damn, all that in one, less than one round. Gervonta Davis! Hey, look at the dude in the back! I'll get you after. And for his last fight in the super featherweight division, boy, Davis fought Ricardo Nunez. Nunez. But Davis once again easily obliterated his opponent with his precise and deadly fists. Can Nunez recover? Oh. He's in Always remember what they say. You say they say you think you got a plan. When it comes to boxing, you think you got a plan until you get hit in the mouth. All that shit, all else fails. So they, these guys really think they got a chance. He hit them, and then they like, oh shit, now they all discombobulated and stuff. A second round That hurt it. Nunez just got obliterated Javante Davis. That's how fast it can end. Mm. Oh my goodness. In his next fight, Davis moved up to the lightweight division, and his opponent was Yuriorkis Gamboa for the WBA World Lightweight title. Yuriorkis Gamboa! Davis sent the tough Gamboa down to the canvas twice in the first and eighth round. Their clash reached its climax until the last round, and Davis masterfully finished the fight with his signature knockout finish. His face ain't even touched, bro. Gervonta Davis' face ain't even touched. The left hand lands, the uppercut that Paulie talked about. Davis has an excellent... 22 knockouts, Gervonta Tank Davis! After becoming a two-division world champion, Davis's first challenger was Leo Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz was full of smiles before the fight, but that changed in the sixth round. In the sixth round, Davis went into beast mode and sent Santa Cruz to another realm. Bro, he left that boy slump. His eyes are still open. Watch him slip. Take David! We own the canvas. The next fight is one of the biggest fights of Davis's career and a chance to claim his third division title. He will fight Mario Barrios for the WBA World Super Lightweight Belt. But with Gervonta's speedy punches, he obliterated Barrios in the eighth round, making him hit the canvas twice. But even after all of that beating, Barrios managed to reach the 11th round until Davis broke his ribs. I gotta see that again. He broke this man's ribs just with a punch. Reached the 11th round until Davis broke his ribs. Right hand to the body by Barrios. His next opponent is the rising star, Rolando Romero. He finished Romero with a well-timed punch. He left right this there. man over here. He ran right into the it. Debate if you want to fall or not. The thing is, I didn't even throw that hard. The next challenger of Davis is the first Garcia he faced, Hector Luis Garcia, an undefeated fighter. Garcia! 
stop. In this fight, Davis damaged Garcia and injured his eyes, resulting in a corner stoppage. Listen to me. I can't see, I can't see. I can't see, I can't see right now. the power of the victory via form of knockout with the victory over this Garcia. For the last knockout on this oh, video, Ryan. Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Shout Garcia. Out, Ryan. Ryan is fast, but Davis shocked him with this. Oh, he had a corner like a little baby. And after that, he released a shotgun punch to the liver of Garcia to finish the fight. And still undefeated, Javante. Look, he's he trying to grab at that motherfucker. <laughs> Just went viral. That left strike if you want knockouts, viral. watch these videos. Oh man, he said that strike just went viral, bro. Now that was big. Um, I was, I think I reacted to it if I'm not mistaken, but no, that knockout was huge. Talking, bro. That's all he was doing was talking crazy, and um, went out there and you know he did good. You can't knock a performance, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't it wasn't good enough nowhere near good enough you know what i'm saying but if y'all want more boxing content y'all know what to do with the comment section below and let me know until next time your boys out deuces turn this shit off